Welcome back, players and trainers. It's your boy, the Blaze bla 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 Squid. Have a great Saturday evening. I hope you guys are watching this on Saturday evening, or whenever you are watching it, but it's coming up on Saturday evening. Um, it's another week of the Pickums. As you guys know, we kind of did a rough draft for week uh, five, I think, or week six. I don't know what that is, that's Pokemon. So we did kind of a rough draft. Like, this is the rubric. The rubric was like one point for yellows. That was if you got the the team right. The team that was going to win, right? You got a one point. If you can guess the differential they won by, the, plus the team, you got a blue, which would mean two points. And that's how we would add it. Arthur was like, yo, that's so cool. Call me in, threw him in. Awesome. So like, you can see how it went down week six. But then other people wanted to join in. So I said, you know what? Why not just do it with the four PokeTubers uh, of our league? But it's more than just four PokeTubers, but just these four that wanted to join. So I want to say special thank yous to uh, the Lazy Ghost, um, Arthur, his link is down below, the Blazing Squid, myself. That means you're subscribed and watching on my channel already. Or if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Jetman99, also his link is down below, and who's also Jesse. And then we have Mega Matt. I think I may have spelled Mega Matt wrong, but I'll fix that later if anything. His link is also down below, guys. So subscribe to them. Show us some love, support as we jump into some more pickups. So let's just look at what last week's results were. We kind of guessed and whatnot. So we had going into this match, Carlos who won 2 0. 2 0. So perfect predictions by the Lazy Ghost and Jetman99 getting those two points right off the bat. I cannot vote because it was my own battle. And then it was Matt, one point. He was he just came up short, just shortly by one point off. And then week two, we had Matt versus Brandon, where Matt did come out with the win, being 1-0. 1-0, he could not vote for himself, but everybody else was able to kind of guess he won, but just at the differential. Week three. Week three was kind of iffy, like who's going to win? Shay, Shay had an amazing performance in FPL, which I still call a bust. But everyone has their bus and whatnot. <laughs> uh, and then there's DJ, uh, a very truly determined underdog coming into this match. Uh, so the score is split two ways. Some people going for DJ, some people going for Shea. And in the end, DJ did win and he won 3-0. So nobody did get that part right. But me and Jess, a Jetman99, were able to get the prediction on DJ winning. Next up, we had Jordan versus Steven. I kind of want to say this is a no-brainer. But I want to put in a nice word. It's a no-brainer. Steven was going to win. The question was how much he was going to win, which caught everyone off surprise with an astounding 5-0. We will be talking about that in the PR. So, congratulations to Steven on that. Next up, we have Alejandro versus Chris. As you guys remember in my last Pick'em Crew, I pointed out how much of an advantage Chris had with his team against Alejandro. Alejandro has shut me up. He shut me up, shut me up, shut me up. And I want to say, Alejandro, thank you for that. Amazing, amazing, my dude. I was proud of that match. I truly was. Keep going forward. Keep going. I'll, you'll hear more of my comments throughout the PR. Next up, we have the Brennan versus Jesse. Actually, oh, well, the only person that voted for Alejandro was Jesse, which... Was it fine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, the rest of us, like, the Lazy Ghost and Mega Matt, we all realized how much of an advantage um, Chris had. Kind of a letdown, but it's a pat in the back for Alejandro, 100%. Then after that, we had Brennan versus DJ. I don't even want to get into words with this. I knew my Brennan boy, Brennan, was going to pull through. Uh, not sure why Lazy Ghost and Mega Matt. I think they were going for upsets. But Brennan is such an amazing battler, especially now that he's getting his groove back into this game. I would not want to be messing with him. I would not vote. Against, I wouldn't vote against him unless it's like a top seed player, like <laughs> Squid. But other than that, <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. Uh, but congratulations to Brennan on that. Uh, next up was Antony versus Mark. That was funny because Antony was like, "How did you know?" And I was like, "I just knew. I just knew. I knew he was gonna win 4-0." I had a feeling because I know both players um, play style. So if you're able to know what an orange looks like and what an apple looks like, and if you like red, you go for the apple. That's a terrible analogy, but that's how I viewed it. 
and I knew he was going to win 4-0. So congratulations to Anthony for that. We'll get more in-depth in the PR, guys. PR is where we'll get more in-depth. And then finally, but not least, Arthur vs. Trick, Lazy Ghost. Um, this matchup, unfortunately, Trig is still relatively new. He's still learning a lot. Um, Trig, I really do consult. You start reaching out to like high, higher tier players and stuff like that, or more experienced players. Try to get some intel. Arthur's not an easy opponent, really isn't. Um, I didn't give you the six O because I thought you can at least pull through. But I did want you to kind of shut me up and potentially make it at least like a two O or maybe a three O. But I had to put it at five O because we knew that this was not going to be a pretty picture to watch coming into this match, and. Me and Jesse both guessed that right perfectly, and Matt also guessed the team right. But overall, for week seven, so we're gonna be doing from week seven and beyond. Arthur, the Lazy Ghost, finished up with a total of four points. The Blazing Squid finished with a total of eight points, just barely. Jetman ninety nine slipped away with nine points, guessing every single game right. So that's where I kind of fell behind because I voted for Chris against Alejandro. So, but congratulations to Jetman99 for getting that. And then we have Mega Matt who came in dead last with some atrocious, I want to use the word atrocious for, for the time being, predictions. <laughs> but let's jump into week eight because what is week eight's matchups of Blazing Squid? Week eight, we have Mark versus Arthur. Trig versus Shane, Jesse versus Antony, Chris versus Brennan, Steven versus Alejandro, Jordan versus The Blazing Squid, Randward, Brandon versus Carlos, DJ versus Matt. There's going to be some interesting matches in this this week, guys. Some very interesting matches. Uh, really solid teams. Like half the matches are going to be interesting. Even the ones that are not interesting are interesting because I already battled. You guys should have watched my video by now. If you haven't, what are you doing? Go watch it. It was my battle against Jordan. Pokemon sucks. Okay. But with that said, let's jump into... Mark versus Arthur. I, I already know what everyone voted for, kind of. I don't remember. I'm trying not to, like, zoom in or look whatsoever. But Mark versus Arthur... Mark is still trying to get his groove, guys. Like, it's been tough for Mark. He has a really offensive team, and offensive teams are awesome and stuff, but Arthur knows how to counter that. So I do see Arthur walking away, but not as bad as Antony would. If I had to give it to Arthur, I would say a 3-0 to Arthur in this matchup. So I want to put Arthur on this side. Just give him a 3-0. Just because of the style Arthur's been playing, not sure... This matchup wise, Arthur's team overall is actually puts puts work against Mark. So I'm gonna go yeah with 3-0. 3-0 solid. Trig versus Shay. This is hard. This one's hard. Uh depending how far Trig has gone to consult. Which I don't think he's done much of. Shay wise. Shay did have a pretty solid PBL season. PBL, that's not the league. FPL. FPL. So would I go with Shay or Trig on this one really? Shay has some more experience. But hold up, let me just look at the teams. I'm not gonna make any comments because last time I made comments. Alejandro won because he's like, yo, Squid, you're right. You know, I'm going to make these modifications. And then I was like, bruh, why did I talk? Why do I have to big, have a big mouth? Huh. Hmm. Wait. Shay versus Trick. I was so off. I don't know why I went to Alejandro. I don't see why Trig can not pull through on this one. I'm going to join the, the Trig boat on this one. Trig. 
winning two all. Wait, Trig winning two all. Uh, Jesse versus Anthony. I'm sorry, Jesse. But I'm on the Anthony train on this one. But it will be close. 2 0. Sorry. I'm sorry, Jesse. I love you, Gemman99. But Anthony's been playing phenomenal. He has. And after last week, my faith in you is like, ugh. Oh, my dude. All right. Chris versus Brennan. 100% uh, Brennan. 100%. I'm gonna get Brandon a 4 0. I'm gonna get Brandon the 4 0. That's what I'm gonna do. Steven versus Alejandro. Steven looks like he's getting his group back, but at the same time, um, his opponent last week, he did actually really, really well. He did really, really, really well. Mega. Yeah, okay. I'm thinking of Mega Venusaur and this Mega Gallade. So those are like a very good matchup. Steven walking away with the two. Oh, this match we don't even do. So we're good here. Um Brandon versus Carlos. Brandon versus Carlos. Brandon versus Carlos. I would love to see Carlos finally lose a match. But Carlos is doing really, really well. I gotta give him props for that. Like, he's doing amazing. Uh, I'm gonna give Carlos a 2 0. Because Brandon's been going down with fights. Like, he is not letting it get to him. And then DJ versus Matt. Man. DJ versus Matt. DJ versus Matt. Off the top of my head, I know that they have... What mods do they have? They have that, they have this, they have that. I'm gonna give it to DJ10. DJ10. It can go either way. It really can. But I'm gonna give DJ some faith in this one. And that's gonna be for this week's pickums, guys. 100%. This is gonna be our week pickums. So let's see. Are we gonna be able to pass Gemini 99? Is Mega Matt, uh, Mega Matt going to make a comeback? Will Lazy Ghost keep getting four points? There's only one way to find out. And that's in next week's pick -em. So stay tuned, guys. I don't know, have a specific day when I should drop these. So if you guys who have any suggestions of what day I should drop them, leave a comment down below. But with that said, we are out of here. It's your boy, the Blazing Squid. You guys are amazing. Stay blazing. Squid out.